So I have a basic untitled session. I have my two clips untitled one, untitled two. If I go into my multi-track session, I can add in the individual clips. Now the question is when I use pitch shifting and time shifting on this, it remaps it and gives some error or warning messages. So to demonstrate that, I have to go into the clip because we can see it's not available yet. So if I double click on the clip, so I'm in the clip, now I can apply an effect to it, time pitch, stretch and pitch. Now if I do a time shift, and make this a little bit longer, so I'll say bring it up to 160% or so, and hit OK, it warns me the reference file is used in a multi-track session. So it's telling me that, oh, you're using this. By changing it, it's going to have an effect on it. And I can say, OK, sure. Now, after it completes that shifting, when I go back to my multi-track session, it has a little warning icon here. But if I also look, I'll see that I don't see all of the waveform. Because by shifting the time, it made it longer. But the clip here is only showing, so it doesn't automatically make the clip stretch out more. It assumes you want the clips at the length you left them. So what needs to happen, I can stretch it out to the end of the clip and see that now it's indeed longer. And I can also now tell this, I can say dismiss that warning because now I'm aware of it. So that's the change that happens. That's what those warnings mean. It's not the end of the world. You just have to be aware that when you do those shifts, that can be problematic. Now if I go into the other one, if I wanted to shift and I was only using part of this clip somewhere, so if I go back into my multi-track session, if I had this occurring in more than one place, but here I was only watching part of it, say that little segment right there, it's really important that if I'm going to do my shifting, that if I apply it to everything, we can see up here, uh, the whole clip is here. It's just showing me the part that's available or being used in that multi-track session. So it's really critical that if I want to only affect this chunk here, so say it was just these two little blurbs, I would want to highlight that, right click and choose, ooh, um, can I insert that? Let's see, does that insert it? No, it still is the same file. So we don't want that, but going back into here, the recommended plan of action would be to highlight, right click, save selection as, and now I could call this Untitled 3, okay, puts it there. So now I need to go grab that selection. And I can then, going back to my multi-track, I can drag it out. So now if I pitch shift this, I won't have the same issue of affecting everything. And see, once again, at the warning sign, it shows us it really does want it to be longer. It can say a dismiss warning. So that's important because if I take this piece right here and do pitch shifting on it, it's going to affect everything where it's being used. So back in the multi track session. We can see how now there are two warnings because untitled clip two is being used here and here. So when I pitch shifted, it affected all of it. By putting the chunk I wanted to affect into its own clip here, then when I stretched it out, it didn't impact the original beginning part. So that's kind of the gist of how that shifting happens and what the warning messages are. None of them are critical. You just have to watch out for it and be aware of how it's going to affect your things. Again, if you make separate individual files for each of your pieces, then at that point 
it becomes pretty easy because they're not interconnected. But if you have one long recording that you've used in a bunch of little pieces, then if you pitch shift it, it pitch shifts everything and that can throw off your whole project. So do be cautious with it and good luck.